In this problem, we're told the Humber Bridge in England has the world's longest single span, 1,410 meters. Calculate the change in length of the steel deck of the span when the temperature increases from minus 5 degrees Celsius to 82 degrees Celsius. So what we're going to be doing in this solving, or what we're going to be solving in this problem is the change in length. So we're solving for delta L. So how do we do that? So you need to know the formula for delta L if you're just looking at like a long beam like this is going to be delta L is equal to alpha times L0 times delta T. And so I'm going to explain what each of, the, uh, each of these are. So let's start with delta T. So T is just temperature. So in this case, it's going to be the change in temperature. So we know in this problem, we're going to be going from minus 5 to 18. So if you want to find the change in something, you take the final and minus the initial. So 18 minus minus 5 gives you 23 degrees Celsius. So now we have delta T. L sub 0 is the initial length. In this case, we know they tell us it's 1,410 meters long. So basically, L0 is 1,410 meters. And then alpha is the coefficient of thermal expansion. And it's different for every single material. But in this case, they tell us it's the steel deck. So we know we're going to be using the coefficient thermal expansion of steel, which if you look in your textbook, there should be a table. And you're going to get the value uh, 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5. And keep in mind, the units are inverse degrees Celsius. And when you also solve this, make sure your delta T is in uh, degrees Celsius too, because uh, they cancel out. So if we want to solve for delta L, all we got to do is just plug in these uh, values. So we have delta L equals alpha, which is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5, multiplied by the initial length, which is uh, 1,410. And then we do the change in temperature, so which we said was 23. And so keep in mind the units. So this is degrees Celsius. This was inverse degrees Celsius. And this was meters. So these cancel. And then you can see that your final answer is going to be in meters. So uh, what you want to do is go ahead and plug this in. So 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5 times, uh, so 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5. Sorry about that. And then you're going to do times 1,410 and then times 23. And so you're going to find delta L, or the change in length, is um, 0.38916. So it's basically about 0.39. And then keep in mind our units are in meters. So it's basically going to, uh, we know that the temperature is increasing. And when something increases, that basically means uh, it, it expands, right? So when the temperature increases, something expands. So we know it's going to increase by 0.39 meters. So uh, yeah, the change in length is 0.39 meters. This is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.